Good morning. My name is Jack Laws. I'm a naturalist and wildlife biologist. I'm also an artist and illustrator. And I'm going to be talking to you today about developing the skill to observe what you see out in the field. Everybody takes it for granted that just because we can see that we're good observers. But we're actually, I think, evolutionarily programmed to be rather efficient but cursory observers. Where think of your sort of your, your basic primate self walking around in the forest and you see something, your brain's quickly assessing, can it eat me? And once you've got that figured out, you're on to the next important question of, you know, can I eat it? And once you've got something basically identified, you're then on to the next thing. Part of the developing the skill of an observer is to get yourself to train yourself to look again and to look again and to look again even at those things that you are sure you already know you're writing your thesis on this animal you've seen it a million times but you haven't seen it this time in this series of videos we're going to be taking a close look at details about how to draw plants how to draw birds and how to draw mammals. For each of these, there are certain tricks and techniques that are going to be helpful for you to do that. Similarly, good tracking skills, birding skills, all those sorts of things are skills that you can develop. Drawing is no different from those other things, and it can enhance and reinforce all the other skills that you are developing as an observer and as a naturalist. To help your journal not start to feel precious, like an art portfolio piece, I find it helps a lot to start including lots of written notes. That's going to help me remember, and it's also going to allow other scientists to take, uh, make use of the observations that I make. And I can then contribute those observations to the body of observations that we call science. There is an infinite world of beauty and subtlety and detail and depth and wonder and unanswered questions that you can pose about this world around you. But it all starts with the ability to look really carefully. So don't take that for granted. And I think that the most powerful tool to get you to start to do that is to keep a field journal of all your observations that is rich not just with your writing, the quantification of things that you see, but also your sketches. The sketches and drawings you make, that's what's going to train you to be a good naturalist.